Introducing the Grassroots Group. We meet every month. During the pandemic, we have been meeting on Zoom. We think and talk about dying and how we feel about it. I went to a funeral I did and but, uh, um, we had to watch it on the computer by Zoom and it's quite difficult it was because that, uh, you couldn't be at the funeral uh, but you can be, uh, I felt like I wanted to go through the computer and to give the lady, the, 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 the lady a hug I did because that, uh, I knew her and all that you know I just wanted to to go and give her a hug just just sitting there on just for her and the daughter yes it's quite emotional not being able to go to a funeral and to be able to be there and to give to give your friend a hug that's it yes sometimes we look at pictures using books beyond words amanda yeah i i'm wondering um whether uh because i don't I don't think she's alive. I think she's uh, died. Uh, and you can see the the drip. Um, it's not connected to her. Uh, and the nurse is, is pulling up the sheet. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I think she, she's, a, I think she has died. The picture clearly states to me that um, sadly the um, patient has, um, has died, you know. Yeah. It's really upsetting to uh, to see really. It's amazing the emotional effects it can have on you really. It's um it's um, you know, the power of the pictures. It's amazing, you know, how it's how it can affect you, you know what I mean. We have used art to think about what matters to us and what we want when we die. We campaigned for people with learning disabilities to get priority for the COVID vaccine. The BBC News got in touch and interviewed us. You know, you can't smell it, you can't see it, you can't hear it. It's like um, a silent killer. Everyone here has a learning disability. You could end up in hospital. They meet up regularly to talk about and understand death and bereavement. It's scary at times. These chats have never been more important. All I keep thinking is, am I going to be next? You know what I mean? Am I going to be the next one to die? I would hate to be in the hospital and end up dying on my own. Just because we've got a learning disability doesn't mean we should sit in the corner and rock and then our loved ones get a phone call to say that we've passed away. We need help now. The amount of people that have died is absolutely frightening. We need it now. There are so many people that are going to die and it's not, it's not fair. Then afterwards, the government changed its mind and we could all get the vaccine. We were so proud of having spoken up. And finally, we helped with PCPLD network webinars. And in June, we took over completely. Um, how has it been for you so seeing people dying of COVID? Mum's really sick, she may not survive, and then half an hour later they phone back and say actually your dad's now really sick as well and he may not survive. I think that's been... It makes you question whether you're doing the best you can for people under the mm. circumstances. My dad died 
um, during the pandemic. So I had, um, so I'm one of those people that's had that experience, um, which has been hard. Has the pandemic made you think more about death and dying? Mm. Yeah, I think it has actually been. I think that's partly what I was struggling with a bit mentally when we were going through the pandemic. It sounds utterly ridiculous, but I'm still not over the death of my cat. And I lost my cat 12 years ago. And I still I've ever been asked in an interview. And we have fun. Would you like to join us? We welcome new members this autumn. Email Irena info at pcpld.org.